भाई इसका प्राइस क्या है सी कैरियो की मशीन ओली वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड या 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 फोर हंड्रेड डॉलर या बट आई बाय हियर थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीस वेरी चीप या या हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर हियर आट द मापसा मार्केट इन गोवा दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस मार्केट्स हियर इन गोवा दिस मार्केट इज ऑन अ फ्राइडे नाउ द मार्केट इज ओपन एवरी डे बट द फ्राइडे मार्केट इज द मोस्ट हैपनिंग विद अ लॉट ऑफ वेंडर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर गोवा एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम अदर स्टेट्स दैट कम हियर एंड सेल देयर मर्चेंडाइज एंड गुड्स सो गाइज वी गोट बी टेकिंग अ वॉक अराउंड द मार्केट एम गोट बी शो यू गाइज वॉट्स अवेलेबल सो लेट्स गो एंड चेक आउट द फ्राइडे मार्केट हियर इन मापसा Okay guys so we are at the entrance of the Mapsa market here and as you can see the shopping has already started the first thing you'll have here are lots of sunglasses all these sunglasses are from 100 rupees over here so you'll have all these type of sunglasses here as you can see everything is 100 rupees and we are going to be checking out lots of things so the market is full of street vendors all over so some of these people have clothing here the last time i came here i even found a gucci shirt now that was an authentic gucci shirt and i got it for like 50 rupees but as you can see there are so many different shirts price kya hai bhai ha 200 so here see we have people from where are you from i'm from russia oh russia okay so see <laughs> okay t-shirt <laughs> okay cool so he's going home so he's buying Uh, you bought good, uh, yeah good brands yeah good brands yeah yeah this is uh, 400 dollars yeah but i buy here 300 rupees very How cheap possible? yeah possible? yeah is... he's saying he bought this pant which is usually cost 100 dollars you can buy it for 300 yeah price is kya hai bhai shirt ka 200 okay so 200 for the shirts here so as you can see there's all the different ones and these are all branded of course you have all branded clothes here so anyway nice meeting you see you yeah take care so yeah so we have people from all over the world that come here and as you see as you know there is there used to be a lot of foreigners that come here so let me just show you some of the things here so you got bags and stuff like this but what we are going to do is let's go and check out another part of the market which is that street there so this street has a lot of things so if you see here there's short pants for ladies and these are all from like see these are all 100 rupees so everything is 100 rupees so look at this all shorts price kya hai bhai 250 okay so that those are 100 this is 250 so look at these these are branded see this is mosimo something so these are all branded here and they have all cool stuff so half friend from russia is still here by his shirts so many people come in here and the, some of these clothes are called export surplus so you'll have all these export surplus clothes that are here you'll have watches here as you can see there's watches belts things like that okay so then we have bigger items also now these are like wooden items here that you have you have tables you have all of these things so that this market is some very interesting because you will find everything possible here so these are the things that you would find in the baga markets and the markets around town but here you see these look at these so these are like those nice pendants so they have the ones with evil eye here then prices starting kya hai so bracelet ka prices kya hai starting starting se kitna hai 75 okay so all of these are starting from 75 rupees here so as you can see the bags and stuff the same things you go to buy in baga or kalangut would be much more of course you can bargain here but don't bargain too much that you know the people cannot survive any more so you see a lot of jewelry here and wow so there's plants as well so my mother my mother loves this market she comes every friday and sometimes she picks up some plants from here yeah so now let's look at this so you have like clothing so this is a market where a lot of locals come in so locals from all over goa come here and do their shopping uh, the vegetables and the fruit market is on the other side on that side of the market uh, you know the prices on fridays 
are much cheaper because you'll have vendors who come in from Belgaum and from Karnataka and stuff like that with all the different items here. So this is an interesting market because look at these, how cool stuff you can get. So these are scarves here that you can get. There's handicrafts, there's, see the handicrafts here. So this was very popular with international tourists. Like look at these. So you have all these different kinds of, I think these are ornaments where you put on the walls. Those are pillow cases, but the designer ones here. Now look at this. So you have this China wear like crockery here, which you can get here, which you would not get at any of the other markets here. So look at this. So these are like door knobs. These are coins from all over the world. You got different coins here. So you can buy coins, you can buy. It's like a kind of a, like a flea market as well. So look at this. So how much are the plates starting from around the this? What is the starting from like? 1500 okay so these are okay so these are like proper china where you see that is called a gara found that used to be the you know what people used to store feni and alcohol in the old days here in goa and you have all those old bottles so this is my moses saldana so from goa youtube yeah okay so yeah so we have all these type of items here that are available let's go and find some more interesting things that you have here so if you have a dog or pets they have the you know hook the leashes and everything you can even buy knives and things like this over here so this market has like everything over here and you see this like four tops for 500 here so these are later ladies tops that are here and this is an interesting market to come to because they have so much shopping and the items are pretty good as well so if you see the tops here so as you can see as i mentioned before international tourists and if you see on the prices over here there are dollar prices on the clothing here so these are all export surplus and for 500 for four tops is a very good deal so See, these are the local rice, the vendors selling local rice here. So you'll have a lot of these, uh, you know, local, local items over here. Like you get this, this bottle here, they have kokum in that. They have the red rice, which is the local Goan rice here. <laughs> hi, hi. I think I'm just showing. Yeah, so I'm this, showing. yeah, yeah. So, so this is tamarind here. Uh, we already have the local mangoes that have come in here. So this part of the market has the vegetables. So just to show you here, so these are all the vegetables available in this section here. The market goes all the way till there at the end of the road. But what we are going to do is we are going to stick into this area so I can show you some of the unique items from Goa here. So here we have salt fish. Now salt fish is something which is very popular. Here in the old days, we used to use it with the red rice uh, there. So my grandparents, you know, they used to on week weekends, they used to make salt fish and uh, a thing called kanji. Kanji is basically boiled rice, which is a nice thing. It's always nice to visit the market. There's so much hustle and bustle and, you know, you'll see so many interesting things. Also, you can get all types of spices here. So let's look at this so here you see you have all types of spices which you can buy see this see this so this is cinnamon here wow so this is ceylon cinnamon so here we got this so this is a lemon peppers so lemon peppers here so here you got different different things so, oh wow Green wow smells good so here you got all the spices so if you see the spice guy you can come and meet him and check his out he has all see they even have fresh turmeric all also he has gone masalas also wow amazing so yeah you see his tall so it's at the corner here you guys can see this uh, statue which is there in the middle he's right at the corner so yeah thank you <coughs> so the spices have just gone into my nose but it's incredible, you know, the 
experience here. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Fine, fine. Good. You? good. 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 <laughs> wow. Really nice. Nice. Nice seeing you. So she saw me on her video. So nice. So nice to meet viewers here also in the local markets. So we are going to walk around here some more, and let me just show you some more interesting things here so all over here you will get these uh, masala shops means the spice shops i still have the spices with me in my hand uh, but you know this is really cool so the market is very very big you can walk around this market for hours together now for example let me show you some of these shops now they have like all these Kolapuri chapels and you know they can customize shoes for you here as well. So leather, so you have, see, vendors selling musical items here, instruments here, <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Goodbye, yeah. So yeah, so there's many, many shops here. So if you want, I think this is like the area that sells uh, like shoes. So you'll have all shoes and leather kind of shoes here and i think this shop makes custom shoes as well so it's been a long time since i've come to the market here but uh you know i always come with my mother usually and you know she she knows this market like the back of her hand for me it's very confusing i sometimes find myself getting lost in the market but look at this so everywhere you'll find something unique you know the areas even though they're selling a lot of these goan spices and things like that here see now they're selling like uh jewelry here all these mangal sutras and you know fake gold items so what we are going to do is let's walk around the market take a look here so surprisingly i'm seeing a lot of foreigners today but this market of course it always has a lot of foreigners but off late with less tourists being there otherwise you would see the friday market full of international tourists here and of course the prices are more expensive uh, when the foreign tourists are around so you know they give you a different rate to them which is sad but that's the reality of it so let's just walk around some more and keep showing you so every street as i kept on saying you will have different vendors here so he, he's selling earrings and to stuffed toys so there's even a bar in the middle of the market so they have a bar over here there's like clothing stores that are here now these stores are always available but what we are going to do is we are going to walk around again further in the market look at these items so they have like uh, you know those karaoke machines here so see you can get a speaker here with the karaoke price kya hai bhai iska bhai iska price kya hai see karaoke machine only 1500 here so cool so let's go ahead and check out some more stuff so the, many of these shops have the karaoke machines surprisingly the sound is pretty good and it's quite loud i can actually hear the sound here so you know the thing about the market is you can explore this for hours and hours and you will always find it interesting because you can find such cool items so there's a lady selling salt fish right next to a lady selling uh, vegetables and then there's somebody selling masks and clothes right here so yeah so there's also a lot of these shops here in the middle that sell cold drinks and you know the faloda and stuff like that so in a hot day like today it's always nice to come here and you know get some faloda or something like that and you know cool down so again we are in the salt fish area here but what we are going to do is now we are going to go to the main road which we started from where we met the russian man and we are going to be checking out the clothing area so that's where all the clothing area is but okay so this area is a little more busy so we'll try and go through the little less crowded areas and show you some of the shops here also so of course it's super hot in goa as while i'm shooting right now but yeah so look at these these are shops that are always here these are like for accessories 
like you know uh, people who want to you know do stitching and stuff they have all their types of items here like see even bangles so they have like these proper bangle shops and so much fun interesting see if you want to get some cool cups crockery so much crockery available here and these prices are very reasonable here so you'll never find that you know you're overpaying here something which was very sad was i had come here earlier and one of the vendors told me that uh, somebody just took an item for 10 rupees less than the price that they paid and said that you know this item should be this price but you know guys if sometimes we treat this a uh, street vendor is really badly and it, it's really sad to see when people do that so you know if they tell you a price which you do not like just don't buy it instead of you know uh, trying to bargain them because you asking them for 10 rupees less but you know it does not make sense asking for people for 10 rupees less and then you uh, you know take that 10 rupees out of their pocket and the, out of their family's lunch or dinner so always be human and treat people well so i always like coming here because all the vendors are very friendly nobody really fights with you or argues with you here so you know it's it's a nice process and the prices are already at lower rates sometimes they have fixed prices here so don't bargain too much of course there are lots of other inner streets in this area selling many more items here but see even the guwahati shirts see they've mentioned fixed price here so see these are, i love guwahati shirts and there's a lot of kids clothing here as well so there's ladies t-shirts things like that so we are almost heading back so there is different rows and rows of gullies like this with the items here so what we'll do is let's take a look at one more gully here so there's this old shop here which is very famous this is cold corner now this place has good cold coffee and milkshakes so people all over come here this is very old so this is here since i forgot from when it is here but the date is not mentioned there's a cafe here which is called cafe corner cafe corner is here from 1934 this is okay so oh this is also a good shop what is there here so perfumes so there's a shop here that makes these uh attar i think and uh, custom perfumes so you have a lot of these perfume shops also here so let's just check the perfume shop here so how much is the price is starting from boss for perfumes that's from 500 500 okay so this is the perfumes are starting from 500 and oh so they have natural incense also so the ladies around here have seen me doing the video so <laughs> they are pointing out to all the cool things that are here so natural incense and perfume very cool thank you so they have more here as well and yeah so this is the cafe corner here and there's all old eateries in this road here so if you uh, yeah okay so there's cafe arora here bar here this is also another of the old restaurants here so it's always nice because you also get to you know taste a bit of history here in visiting these old eateries here they have a lot of nice items here so as we go further down here small small items like this so I've been walking in around the market. It's super hot, but I'm enjoying myself because I get to explore some things. I'll come. Okay. So here, let's see some of the ladies' items here. So you have these full outfits here. So if you want to get these type of outfits here, see, look at this. So you have all these Indian wear here. So and these prices are really good because they are like the you can even get them at wholesale rates here so look at the outfits how cool is this here so i like this outfit this is pretty nice so let's go around and see some 
last items here so more of these outfits here see here pretty cool and here we got sunglasses shop again so they have a little more branded ones like the louis vuitton sunglasses here so oh. so one of the ladies here she's saying she has souvenirs and handicrafts so she wants me to show her shop also here there is one old bakery this bakery is called francis bakery surprisingly it is closed today but this bakery is lunch something time. ah lunch time that's why it's closed okay and let me just show you some more items here so this shop sells this is called kitchen provision stores so they have all the these type of items so you'll see all these type of items chudas and things like this these are fresh they sell in the by the kilos here so either way. so uh, she's taking me around to show her shop also in the meanwhile we are also getting to go around and see some more items around this market so i hope i did this market justice by showing you as much as possible so okay she has her items here shawls kashmir shawls price is how much 750 okay so she has her shop here now how to show you okay so there is a shop here called ar arrol you always here only different products okay so she, she's everywhere so uh, all over the market so like that she has different different shawls here what is the starting price from wow this is beautiful so if you see here the artwork very very beautiful how much is this 1800 1800 okay so these are all hand done so if you see here so this is like really nice something to hang on the wall so if you see this lady here you can approach her and she will give you guys these kind of items okay no thank you thank you so yeah guys so let's go up ahead and see what else is there so yeah guys this is the market here and we've already come from that side so yeah that's it from the market here so guys that is it from here at the mapsa market i hope you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe and i'll be bringing you lots of other videos from here in goa